Okay, so we've done sagittal plane, frontal plane. We can do a little bit more on the transverse plane. We lost to the transverse plane at the beginning. The transverse plane in football was through the hips with this rotation. Now we're going to make it a little bit more active. And the way I want to do that is I want you to imagine that uh, you're, you're on a line, and that line right behind you is zero degrees. And if we go count that round, it goes zero, 45, 90, 155, 180. So behind you is, is zero. I want you to point your foot, your right foot, on 45 degrees. Bend your right knee, keep your left knee straight. So you've got a little bit of a lunge going through there. Try and twist your shoulders now to be pointed in the same direction as that knee. Good, now come back towards the middle. I want to take your right foot to point in that direction. So you're stepping across the midline. So you can see, if my toe is going this way, I've stepped across in front of that toe, and now I'm pointing here. I've got a bit of stretch on the outside of my hip. All right, so that's going to be the movement. Let's get the movement going with uh, our feet, and then we'll bring in the hands. So we're stepping out, getting a stretch into my left hip here, stepping back, getting a bit of stretch into the outside of my right hip. You can bend the right knee here, bend the right knee here. Now what we're going to do is take the hands, and we're going to go as far as we can, rotating both ways. Good. That's two. Three. Now, if, it, if anyone's played tennis, You'll see how this is very much like a tennis backhand, tennis forehand. One more. Excellent, stop there. Same thing on the other side. Take the left foot back, so zero, 45 degrees. Opening your pelvis up, lunging slightly. You should feel a little stretch into that uh, right hip, and then Pushing off that right knee, bring yourself back, stepping across that midline, foot pointing towards that wall there. Bend your front knee slightly, you should feel a little stretch through this hip, maybe a little stretch into the right hip. Good, this time we'll add the hands straight in, they're going to go as far as they can rotating, we're going to go straight for it. That's one. warmed up, we've got the back warmed up, the ankles are warmed up, and we're going to specifically do a little bit more just to the ankles. Now, the better stretch, you get the better stretch when you hold on to something. Now, I haven't got anything next to me at the moment, but if you're doing this for the first time, put a chair next to you, put your hand on the wall or something like that, and the reason you get a better stretch is that the body isn't worried about falling over. So, when there's a, a, a situation where your body's worried about falling over, it's going to make you more stable over more mobile, and we want to get you more mobile. So you want to be in a safe environment, safe to your body, that means it doesn't think it's going to fall over. Put your hand on something and do this exercise. Once you find that quite easy, take your hand off, and then you can do it as we're doing it now. Stand on your right leg, all your weight on your right leg, lift the heel of your left foot. Imagine you're on a clock face. In front of you is 12 o'clock, behind you is 6 o'clock. I want you to take your left foot and slide it along 12.30, so it's not quite straight, it's slightly towards my right hand side. You're going to slide along the ground, but there's no weight on the foot. So if you see here, I can lift my foot up and down, there's no weight on that foot. And then come back, but what you will see is I'm bending this ankle here, my right ankle, and I'm going to stretch right down to the base of the ankle, and then come back. So I am getting a stretch, but then I'm strengthening coming back. Okay, so stand on your right foot, left heel off the ground. We're going to go 12.30, 12, 9 o'clock and then 7 o'clock. And on that 7 o'clock, I want you to open your hips up. So it looks like this. 12.30, 12. 9 o'clock, as far as I can go. And then 7 o'clock. OK, we're going to go through that three times. Away we go. 12.30, let's get 12. 9. 7. 6. 5. 2. One more. 12, 30, 12, 9, 7, and relax there. Should be doing a little bit of work into your ankle, a little bit of strengthening as well as a little bit of stretching. Left foot, lift the heel of your right foot, 
We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be heading out to the right hand side now. So 12 o'clock straight ahead, we're going to go for 11.30, so we're going to go straight for this one. 11.30, as far as you can. 12, as far as you can. 3 o'clock, as far as you can. 5 o'clock, as far as you can. Good. 12, 30. 11.30. 12. 3. 5. 11.30. 12. 3. 5. Good. Relax there. Okay, you've done the functional movement class. There's one more bit to do. We need to calm down a little bit now, tell the body that yes, you've done your exercise, now it's time to uh, go off and assimilate that and relax it. So we're just going to do three deep breaths, very easy deep breaths. But if you want to do that, we can take the hands above the head. So just with me, take your hands up, take them above your head, take a nice deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, let your hands go down, just relax. And again, breathe in. And out. And again, breathe in. 